this mouse is pretty hard to take apart. Well, really the reassembly is the hard part, but I'll show you how to reassemble it in the second part of the video. So take that side piece off. That top part just pulls off. There's no screws holding it on. You know, it might kind of feel like you're going to break it. So with the left and right click, don't pull up on it like I did with this one. It's much easier. You'll see with the next one how the better way is to get it off. So you want to stick a screwdriver in there. And there's those little tabs that go into holes on each side. And you want to push them towards the center to get it out of the hole. And then the, the button will just lift up. And I'll show it to you here in a second. You can see how those little tabs, they go into holes that are on the inside there. You just want to push them forward like that. <clears throat> now there's just two screws on the top here. There's two screws on the bottom. So you want to put your finger over the sensor because heat can ruin it. And then heat it up with a hairdryer. Lift it up with a tiny screwdriver. Peel it off. Good way to save it is to leave it on that plastic. You need a, like a tiny Torx bit to get those two screws in the bottom there. Now that'll just come off. All the other screws are just normal Phillips ones, but the two on the bottom are these little Torx ones. I'll leave a link where you can buy screwdrivers. That's just held on by one screw, two screws back there. That's holding on those buttons. So each one of those top side buttons have one screw holding them on. They'll just come right off. Two screws holding on that board that goes on top of the scroll wheel and those black things you need to p pull the black part up there's little tabs in the side you can get to it you can use your fingernails or a screwdriver once you pull it up the ribbon will come out and the black piece can fully come out don't worry if it does it's normal it'll just go back in and you don't need to take the battery out actually but the glue the double-sided tape is really strong so that's how you could get it out you're just lifting up that black tab there for this other ribbon <clears throat> make sure you don't lose the little black tabs it's good to push them down back in place so they don't fall out you can see how that side button just pops off after you remove the one screw and there's three screws uh, around the scroll wheel holding down that board if you do take the battery off you can just reuse the, the sticky tape that's how you take the scroll wheel out I think there's four screws holding down this board. Yeah, there's three more on the board. One there. <clears throat> one there. And that one in the back. There's three screws holding down that sideboard. That bottom one will just come out now. You can slide that piece out. And there's two magnets on the inside there. Mine kind of jumped and stuck together with one on the outside. And the ribbon there, you can just pull down to get to that screw. And there's a screw on the bottom that's really hard to get to. I had to take the little thing out of the screwdriver to reach it. Uh, you'll see in the reassembly part. And actually, it's easier to get that piece off. Wait till you remove this part like that and then take that piece off. You don't need to cram it out. And then those things, you just pop the little tab that holds it in place. And then the button will come out like that. You need to like kind of push the tab forward with a screwdriver so you can get that little rectangle hole out. And there's one screw holding in the, the lighting thing. And that's pretty much it. I put all the screws on tape like that, labeled it front to back. Better a magnetic tray, but I was using all my magnetic trays. So here's the reassembly. Reassembly is actually much harder, especially since you'll forget. Like I had this mouse taken apart for about a month. This, you see how the tab is there? When putting the buttons back, so to get them to really go in place, you have to push it down over the tab, but then push it up towards the top of the mouse to really get to sit and make sure the buttons like work and move. Now you want to put that part in place and hold it in place while you put this down on the base. You don't want to try to put it in after you get the base down. Make sure the little tabs and stuff all go in a place like that one there and there's a bunch of stuff on the bottom. Make sure it all lines up on like every edge all around the bottom. So that screw there I forgot to put it in until later but you can it's better to put it in now and a screw going down a deep crevice a good little trick you can dip the screwdriver in some sticky stuff to get the screw to stick to it. 
You can put in the sideboard, the screw, three screws. These are the, the smaller flat screws you want to use here, not the bigger, longer ones. Get those three screws in place. That was a little side one I was talking about. I had to remove the bit from the screwdriver and use a really short one. Now put the four screws holding in the base. Those are the bigger, longer screws. <clears throat> you can see how the scroll wheel goes back in. You pop the, that end of the scroll wheel down, it'll click in place, and then put the little black thing over it to hold it there. Make sure it clicks and spins. There you can see how the rubber can come off. You can change the rubber. So you can buy these rings that are meant for your fingers. I'll leave a link. And you can change them to a bunch of different colors. So slide that piece in place. You want to put one of the magnets in. If you try to put both in, they'll slide together. So put one magnet in. Put one of the side pieces on. Then put the second magnet in. And just make sure the magnets are sitting in their little thing correctly. You'll see. Put that part in. You see that like rectangular hole lines up over the right click switch. Then you can plug in the battery. <clears throat> you can plug in that part. You can see how the black one came off in mine. There's like a longer piece of the black one. You want to put that in per first from kind of the one side. There's three screws that hold this down in place. Before you go putting that piece over the scroll wheel, put those three screws down first. Now that part goes under the scroll wheel, or kind of on the inside of the scroll wheel. And there's just two screws. They're the smaller flat screws that you want to use for this board here. That little tab that sticks out goes on the inside of the scroll wheel, I was trying to say. So now you can pop that thing down. It goes at an angle like that, and those two black tabs will just hold it in place. <clears throat> so I didn't show how to take that out, but it'll just pop right out. And that's how you get it back in. You put the center button back in. There's one screw holding it in place. Now these buttons, this is how they go, and there's one screw just holding each one in place. You put that one on first, and then that one will go over top of it. And now there's two tabs in the front that this piece needs to go under, if you look at the front part there. And then that tab needs to go between and under those two side buttons. Now there's two screws, and they're the two smaller flat screws that go on the top there. Make sure the buttons click down correctly. Make sure they all work. Good idea to turn the mouse on. Use it with your computer. Make sure all the buttons work. Those two top ones are number one and two, so you can bring up a Word document to test them. Now put those two in place. That one you have to kind of slide back and make sure that groove that gets under. Uh, make sure the little tab on the inside of the mouse gets in that groove. You'll see. Turn it on again. Make sure everything works. That top part, <clears throat> you're just going to have to push it down in place. Don't push too hard. Make sure you don't break anything. Kind of look in it. Make sure all the tabs line up in the holes they're supposed to go in. This so next piece is a little tricky. There's two tabs on the side. You have to make sure that the grooves go into the holes on the sides first. Really look and make sure. And then you just push it from the center back. So now those two Torx bit screws go on the bottom there. Put that on. And then I like to heat it up with a hairdryer again push down on it really hard and slide around on the mouse to flatten it out. And I'll probably make another video for the painting. Nike.